guys, welcome back. Uh, today I have an art supplies haul. And I'm super excited, not only because no new stuff, but there's a ton of new stuff. And it's mostly from Amazon. Um, so all of these products you could get pretty much worldwide, and I'll link them below as well if you're interested in picking up some of the things I did. So there's a, a lot of stuff, and uh, let's go ahead and get right into it and see what we've got here. So, the first thing I have in front of me, uh, let's see if I catch my eye, is probably the Pentel Aquash brush pens. And these come in a set of three small, medium, and large brush tips. I've heard really amazing things about these, and I just had to pick them up. I think it was 12 bucks for these three, uh, which isn't bad at all. I feel like they're going to last me a long time, and I'm going to get a lot of use out of them. So, I can't wait. Definitely excited. Uh, let's see what else do we have here next. I have the Stadler Pigment Liners. Um, there's six pens in total. I think this set was around 12, no, 10 bucks. 10 bucks, which isn't bad at all for the quality of these pens. Uh, they're supposed to be amazing. And I haven't been able to try them out yet just because I was saving them for this haul, but I am really excited because I needed um, some new liners. I do like the Copics, but I've heard good things about these and I just I wanted to try them for that price. You really can't beat it. And I also love the variety of sizes. I really wanted like thin, thin, thin liners and uh, you definitely get a lot of those here. So yeah, I can't wait. Mm, yep. Alright, all right, yeah, we, we get it. There's there's liners. Okay, let's, let's move on. <laughs> and uh, next we have the Prismacolor uh, is it Graphite Drawing Set. And uh, this one, I can't remember how much it was exactly, but it was pretty affordable for being Prismacolor. Uh, I really, really love the Graphite Pencils. I really love these graphite pencils. I have another set by Prismacolor, but I was missing uh, some of the darker pencils, like the 8B, the 6B, the 2B. So I really wanted to get those as an add-on. And uh, here I am, struggling to open it. I, I will not succeed, but I'll go ahead and post a picture of the inside when I do eventually get it open. Um, so yeah, I believe it has seven pencils, along with some other stuff. Really excited for that. Next I have the Pentel Quick Eraser set. There's a set of three here, and um, they erase stuff pretty well, or so I've heard. They've got a nice grip, which is good. Uh, <laughs> not really much else I can say about those, but uh, yeah, they're, they're going to come in handy. After that, I believe we have a Winsor and Newton brush. It is the Cotman Synthetic Sable brush in, I think it was size 4. Uh, this brush was around 6 or 7 bucks on Amazon, which isn't bad at all. So this is supposed to be a higher quality brush, which, hence why I got it individually. I'm going to start my collection of higher ended brushes, slowly but surely. So there it is. And there's the end of it. It's supposed to be good for, you know, watercolor. I was going to use it for gouache. So, yeah. There it is again, back in the packaging. I got a couple of, I don't even know how to pronounce these, stumps and tortillas? I'm not sure if that's how you say it. Uh, I use these a lot in high school. I got these to complement my Prismacolor Graphite drawing set. Um, they were pretty affordable, I think. Not too bad. I mean, I could have made one or made a couple easily myself, but I didn't really feel like it. So, I got these. Yeah. Next, I got a couple of Windsor Newton Galleria Acrylic paints, and I've never used acrylic before, but I got these because my Design 1 class required them, for whatever reason. So there they are, there's a couple of colors. And these aren't supposed to be artist quality, 
but I know they're not like crap quality either. I don't know. I, I really didn't know what to look for when I was picking these out, so I just kind of went with these because I recognized the brand. And uh, here they are. And what I really didn't understand about this set was why the heck are there so many yellows? There's like, what, three, three yellows here? It's kind of ridiculous. You know, I, I wasn't really a fan of that. Like, why? I would have preferred a black, honestly, than in place with one of the yellows. But I mean, they're nice. Can't wait to use them. Yeah. Next, oh, here's the black. I, I got a black separate. And I don't know why it's so big. I, I guess I really like black. It's the same brand. And I the reason it's open is because I had already used it for my architecture project for another class. And, uh, yeah. Next, oh, this the star of the show. I was so excited about these. And typically they do cost an arm and a leg, especially, you know, for such a small palette. But I noticed that the price had gone down on Amazon and I just, I couldn't help myself. Oh. They're so beautiful, and you really can't tell on camera here, but in person they are just stunning. And there I am, trying to adjust the lighting just so you can see how gorgeous they are, but it really... Ugh, no. They're, they are too good for this world, and I, I'm scared to use them. But hopefully I can, uh, hope to do like a demo kind of video soon. Because I know a lot of people are interested in these. I knew I was immediately when I first saw this. Uh, who, who was using it? I believe it was Audra Eau Claire. I saw her using the smaller version of this palette and I was just stunned. They're so great. Yes. Yes, and if you're going to pick them up, I recommend doing it soon because the price dropped. And I don't know how long it's going to stay that low. So uh, again, I'll link everything below and you can pick up a set yourself. These are just, they're so... Let, oh, oh, I can't. <laughs> They're so great. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice watercolors. Next, I have this freaking enormous Nigello bulletproof glass palette. And the box is kind of beaten up because I did get this uh, pre owned, I guess, on Amazon warehouse deal just because I wasn't about to pay $30 for a freaking palette. But uh, I did pay, I think it was maybe 18 which is still kind of steep, but look at how big that is. Wow, I don't think I even have that many paints, but I love, like, the wells. And look at all that mixing space. It's just so great. Probably not a very good idea to take this traveling. We'll get a separate palette for traveling later. But, yeah. Next is the... Uh... I forgot the brand. The Sakura Jelly Roll pens. You've seen them everywhere. Lots of people use these. And I got these basically to complement my white gel signal puns. Just because the signal, they're a little thicker. And I wanted more thinner lines to complement those whenever, you know. Um, next is the Westcott 18 inch metal ruler. Again, for my design class coming up. Nothing special. This is a Moleskine watercolor album. Uh, I'm not sure what size it is. I'll find the size later. It's pretty big. It's cold press, which I did not realize. I thought it was going to be hot press, and I wanted hot press paper, but cold press also works for me. I like it. Uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to get started on it, but probably soon. Alright, here is a protractor. Again, for the design class, the majority of these supplies were supposed to be for my design class, but you know, I kind of went overboard. Compass for design class, basic, yeah, for circle drawing. All right, and here is the Pentel Aquash brush. Um, this is the I think it's like a pigment ink filled brush, and it's supposed to be like a light gray color <laughs> and uh, I don't know I was just really interested in this and I figured even if I didn't like the ink I could always use reuse the brush later kind of like the other brushes that I got finally 
Uh, last but not least is the Hulkline Artist Gouache. And here are the colors. I have never used gouache before, but I really wanted to. Just because it seems like my kind of thing. So I figured, you know, if I'm gonna take this seriously, I better, you know, go all out. This is a pretty high quality um, set. It was a little on the pricier end, but I think it'll be worth it. And look at all those colors. Like, wow. So many colors. Here, this would be a good way to kind of, like, dip my feet into the water. And, um, I hope to do a lot more videos featuring gouache because it just it looks so cool. I really like the finished product and I hope to get good at it. And, it and um, yeah. Can't wait. So, uh, you know what? That pretty much concludes this haul here. Oh, right. <laughs> and I got that palette to complement these colors, but I know I'm not going to get any more stuff that I want. But yeah, that, that pretty much com completes this haul. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, please like and subscribe. And I hope to do more videos like this in the future. Again, thank you. Bye!